I want to bring in former New Mexico governor and former Democratic presidential candidate himself, Bill Richardson, who also served as U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. Governor Richardson, good to see you. Nice Thanks to be Thanks so with much you. for joining us. Yeah. Give us your reaction, your take on these attacks. How would you grade the nominee's response to what we've seen? Well, I think both nominees. Uh, Obviously, I support Hillary Clinton. I think she showed steadiness, leadership, uh, upgrade the visa procedures, find ways to bring law enforcement, uh, bring our allies in. You know, I think Donald Trump is, is talking tough, uh, solidifying his base, uh, saying some very dangerous things, talking about racial profiling, that the cops are being prevented from that, from no evidence. I think what he does is by equating uh, jihadism and Islam, he's, he's recruiting people that might incite violence to the United States. I, I really see that. I but think but it's he, didn't, he didn't make this up, right? I mean, time and time again, we're seeing this jihadi uh, mentality and these jihadis create havoc and, and, and murder people. So he, he's not making that up. That's actually happening. Yeah, but the question is, what do you do about it? I think you need Muslim communities to work with law enforcement to find these people. You need to upgrade visa procedures, tighten them, no question Which about Which we've been it. waiting 15 years for, because, again, some of the 9-11 terrorists, right, uh, st overstayed yeah. their visas. Half a million people right. last year overstayed their visas, so we've been waiting 15 Th years right. for that to Look, happen. That's right. Look, the whole immigration system, visa system, needs to be upgraded. It needs to be... Uh, put into a very high year and that can only happen with immigration reform. You think the, Why hasn't the it happened people, now? Do you think the American people are justified in being upset at the inertia on the visa system, at the inertia on tackling these problems? Yeah. Do you think the American people like the fact that the president is basically just ignoring the situation, uh, once in a while saying a few things about destroying ISIS but really doing nothing about the situation? Think they're well, upset about that, well I, I would disagree. I, he, I think he's doing what he can under a very dysfunctional political system in the Congress where a lot of his proposals can't even get considered. No, but he but, sets the tone. He sets the tone, and well, that's but, why everyone is afraid to Maria, say Islamic he, terrorism. He, he sets has the tone. pushed for comprehensive immigration reform. He has pi uh, pushed for more security procedures at the border. He has pushed for tightening visa requirements. But wasn't it, his decision to tell, wasn't it his decision to tell these border control agents, look, don't look at anybody's social media, it's, pro it's profiling? You know, wasn't it, it wasn't his decisions to actually be very careful and cautious in terms of making sure you're not profiling? I mean, so you say he's been trying to do more. I don't see it that way. Well, there is this case in San Bernardino where there was inflammatory social media by that individual that caused the tragedy. And we missed so, that. So, yeah. So, so there are gaps. I, I think I'm not defending every aspect of our current immigration policy. What I'm saying is we have to have a sustained effort that also involves international efforts. I do think, you know, based on your question, uh, I would have a no-fly zone in Syria, I think, to protect some of those refugees there, a more sustained effort against ISIS. Uh, I think Hillary Clinton has talked about that. You know, she's but been commander-in-chief. Her, pro her problem is, though, because she's essentially running, and, and a lot of this is directed by the president as a third mm -hmm. term for Barack Obama. So she has to own what they have done in this administration, or frankly, what they have not done. And yesterday, her what she, what she came out and said initially was, Americans need to show courage and vigilance and not demonize Muslims. That's all she's got? To quote Michael Goodwin, the columnist? No, no, no. She has advocated a no-fly no zone, which is basically to protect some of the refugees, create some safe zones, and ensure that there are certain areas that it might potentially clash with the Russians. But, you know, this is a tougher policy. And, and I think she's pushed for that. She's increasing the number of advisors that fight against ISIS, the special forces. Excuse me, Governor. She, Can, if I could just disagree with you there a little bit. I don't see how her policy is not a continuation of the Obama policy because she said unequivocally in the town hall that she will not put troops in Iraq and Syria. And so if we're going to actually fight and defeat ISIS and do something to stop this civil war, how is, uh, how is anything that she's proposing different from what the current administration is doing? Well. Uh, more aerial efforts, 
Um, so more, more bombing from the air? No, but you, okay. Look, the, the, the American people don't want more troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. Well, then let's just not pretend that we're and, going to and, defeat ISIS from the air. I mean, let's know, just do is, the American people a service. These have been though. quagmires. So what you do is have a more targeted, sustained effort. We but that's need, not going to but, defeat ISIS. But I think what the president you know has been too. good at doing but, but, is bringing an international coalition. It's not just us. But that's the not, Germans, that's the European Union. Sorry, I'm really not trying to push back, but when I was in Iraq in January of 2011, Lloyd Austin made a troop force recommendation of 22,500 troops. The president said, no, we got down to 900 troops. The Pentagon said, if you do that, you're going to create something called Daesh or the rise of ISIS. We got the rise of ISIS. We now have 5,000 troops back in Iraq. So this is a failed strategy that the president and Secretary Clinton have to at least own and explain why they did it that way. Well, failed strategy, sir. Well, I, I, I don't agree, but I think what we so have to do is... But where is the success? Is, me, is, is, where has the success been? Well, the success has been there have been some strong victories against ISIS that our generals have said have happened. Uh, there have been, uh, I mean, the, 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 the most discouraging element was something I read today that the initiative in Syria has fallen apart. But we're trying, we're trying to work with the Russians, which yeah. is very difficult. But, you know, this is, a, this is a quagmire, and this is clearly going to be a major focus for the next president. Bill, let me, Gavin, let me ask you real quick. Um, right. Fifty days out to the election, how much are President Obama's policies hurting Hillary? I mean, nobody expected the race to be this close, close seriously. How, how badly are President Obama's policies affecting Hillary? No, I, I don't think they're, I don't, he, the president right now is at his, one of his highest popularity rates. He energizes the Democratic base, and Hillary needs those millennials, those Sanders voters. I think the president brings those in. You know, the economy is moving in the right direction. Mm. Uh, you've got uh, the national security situation. All right. uh, I think uh, moving which, which in the right direction Which is why she's, she's generally. running on more of the same. Then that, that tells us why she's running on more of the same. Governor, good to see you. Right. Thank you so much. Governor Bill Richardson there. Thank you.